Hello, and welcome to Rono Copy and Electronics. Uh, let me adjust the volume here a little bit. There we go, that's better. Um, in this video, we're going to um, go over a topic that's been requested on the uh, channel, and that's how to uh, program the ESP8266 with the Arduino IDE, uh, specifically how to uh, add the um, the board manager uh, since Arduino IDE I think it's version 1.6.3 I think um, they added the functionality that you can actually add in the URL uh, for the different board managers um, so like here we've got the uh, on uh, github we have the unofficial list of the third-party uh, board managers um, and on the, posted on the ESP8266 community is the actual URL that uh, you can use that you can drop into the IDE. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to put that up on the screen. So I think uh, I, yeah, I've got version 1.6.9 and um, we've got a sketch open and so we we want to uh, we want to use this with uh, an ESP8266 so we're going to go um, to file and then to preferences now I'm running this on a Linux system but it's very similar to do on a Windows or on a Mac uh, you're just going you're going to go to the preferences um, and you're going to have this additional boards manager URLs and that's where you want to copy you want to copy that URL from um, from the list where you find it there I've already got some in there but um, we'll just start from scratch so I'm just going to go grab that URL copy we're going to jump over here and we're going to paste it in and hit OK. So then when you go then here to boards and uh, it's just off the top of the screen as yeah, boards manager ESP8266 then you'll see then that the uh, from the ESP8266 community uh, you will have the ability then to install the boards manager and it'll list all the different boards and I'm going to jump back over here where we were if you can add more than one so you just uh, separate it with a comma and we're going to Another one that I use a lot are boards from Adafruit. So I'm going to copy that URL. I'm going to paste that in. And then the third one that I use a lot of, and you, if you've looked at uh, any of the videos I've got on here, I, I've done I've done some projects with uh, fun little um, Arduino-based um, game called the Art of Boy. So we're going to paste we're going to paste those in and then uh, go back up to uh, boards manager just off the top of the screen and then like um, if I type in Art of Boy you'll show that it's installed. And then when you select what board you want to be using then all those extra boards then are now on your list that you can you can pick and uh, program for it. The other thing that um, I'll just briefly touch on in the newer version of the IDE um, under include library you now have manage libraries. Um, the old-fashioned way uh, I'll close this just for a second um, was always you could always um, you could always download a zip file from uh, whoever was publishing the library 
um, and there you drop it into a specific folder and then uh, it that zip file then it would show up but it's even easier now that you have a library manager and if um, the people that have uh, published that library have has got it listed properly then it shows up and as you can see um, I've got like the art of boy library uh, so then I can like start coding using that library um, in a sketch um, the very, uh, one last thing um, going into preferences is um, setting where your sketchbook is and uh, one little tip that uh, I've done quite a bit of is I actually um, create a folder that I enable with git uh, git and then use uh, use github to manage um, the uh, the sketches because I will access I can access them across several different machines uh, several different computers and then I can uh, make changes on one computer and um, upload those changes to to github and then when I get on the next machine I can pull it back down again so that's just that's just a little uh, optional tip if you want to uh, to get into using github but otherwise, um, you can just um, put a folder there. It's going to be your sketchbook, and that's where you're going to keep your files. So um, this is a shorter video than usual. Um, just kind of going over. Uh, mainly, uh, the big thing was being able to add the board manager URL so that you can uh, then you can start uh, using the Arduino IDE for the ESP8266. It's really handy. Um, what they've done with the IDE and uh, the functionality that they've added. So, so we're going to wrap this one up. Um, be sure and visit the RoanokeHobby.info uh, blog. Um, and if you uh, found the video useful, uh, give us give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And uh, appreciate you stopping by. And uh, thanks for watching.